Hey, it's Anna. Welcome back to Solar Trip Podcast. And if you're new here, hi. I'm an independent music artist. I write, record, and produce my own music. And also film four series here on my YouTube. And this one is all about spirituality and metaphysics and the occult and so, so much more. So I literally just filmed an episode of Validate Me podcast with my best friend. We went out to the park in the sunshine, which was incredible because we haven't been able to do that in so long. And we filmed an episode for Validate Me that's coming soon. But we actually ended up touching on what I want to talk about today. And I wrote in my notes this morning for this video that I wanted to talk about just the current message for the collective right now because a lot of people are going through difficult times. And I feel like obviously... There's always difficult times here on Earth because it's a bit of a hell planet, but I want to especially just give an empowering message in relation to everything that's going on right now. And in the Validate Me podcast episode, we kind of touched on it a little bit, which is just fitting, you know? So I feel like I'm going to continue on with that episode and just share a message for you guys. And hopefully this resonates because I really feel like obviously with everything that's going on, it can be very confusing, very stressful, very fear-mongering, and can make you just kind of doubt everything to do with everything, you know? Because there's just so much stuff that's going on and so many agendas being pushed and so much opposition with opinions and like people just kind of battling it out on social media and all of this dumb stuff that we tend to get triggered into and everything so it can be quite overwhelming and I just really want to put this message out there to anybody that is struggling because I've struggled too and like Hannah in the podcast episode that we talked about like she's struggled as well and I feel like so many people do and we just need to remember our power and remember that we are here for a reason you know, like you chose to incarnate here for these events. And I know that sounds quite abstract and like hard to believe or whatever, but we really did choose to incarnate for these events for a specific reason. And we may all have different reasons. We might have similar reasons. None of that really matters. I think the ultimate like key for me and something that I've learned in my own journey is that when I get kind of like overwhelmed by everything that's physically happening here is to tune in to my heart and to my soul and to my soul mission as cliche as that sounds like really tuning in to actually what you want and what you need and what feels good and what your heart calls for, like your passions, the people that you love and care about, you know, the connections that inspire you, doing all of the things, your hobbies and stuff, everything that you find joy in and really tuning into that within yourself and being able to do more of those things because there's just so much stuff going on around us as we know and that can create a lot of fear and a lot of uncertainty and it can really put us in our minds of like overthinking constantly and trying to analyze where things are going to lead what's going to happen what laws are going to be implemented and just all of these stuff you know what's going to happen with the medical industry stuff like that you know so I think it's just really important to remember the higher perspective and that doesn't mean to spiritual bypass because we're not bypassing and acting like the human stuff doesn't exist we're not acting like um anything that's going on in this physical reality isn't happening because we know it's happening we know it feels so so real and can feel so difficult and so painful and stuff so it's you're not bypassing that but just being able to tune in to the higher perspective will really help you get out of your head and like more grounded into your body because I feel like you kind of tune into your heart like instead of constantly being in um, your thought patterns in your mind you kind of tune into your heart center of like what do I want out of life like what do I want out of life what do I need what feels good what excites me like when you start asking yourself those questions and you just like I almost view it as like recentering yourself back into your body and really thinking about what you actually enjoy it gets you out of the overthinking loop that we can all tend to fall into and I do this so many times so I have to bring myself away from all of those fear-based thoughts and kind of readjust my focus back to okay wait a second why am I here what do I want 
what do I enjoy? You know, what do I love? What do, like, what kind of things do I love doing? And who do I like being around? And those kind of questions. And just remembering that you are a soul in a vessel. You are not your vessel, you know. Our vessel literally functions without us even needing to control it. You know, our cells regenerate without us needing to consciously make it do that. It does it by itself. Our heart beats by itself. We don't need to consciously control that. So we're not our body. We can steer our body and use our body to, you know, move our arms around and stuff like this and pick things up and everything. But we're not actually our body because when we die, we transition away from our body and into another form. So like, just remembering that higher perspective of the fact that this is just one lifetime and even though it's very real and it feels so real and you feel all of these emotions I think just being able to look at it from a different angle sometimes will stop the despair so much and help you find your power and the fact that you're divinely guided you know you're not doing this alone. You have your spirit guides, you have your ancestors, you have source, you have your higher self, whatever you want to call all of these things. Like there is a path for you that's already planned and predestined and we have free will and you get to walk it and you get to enjoy it. And even though there's a lot of pain and suffering that goes on here and I'm sure there's a lot of painful experiences that you've been through and there's a lot of painful experiences that all of us have been through, but at the same time, just tuning into your your soul and your soul mission. And even if you don't know what your soul mission is, even if you don't know what your passions are, you know, just asking yourself those questions to try and look at what you enjoy, you know? It doesn't need to be something that you make money from. It can just be something that you simply enjoy, like something that you find joy in and allowing yourself to do those things because Every time we get on social media or we look at the news or TV shows or whatever, you're going to see fear-mongering things. You're going to see things that you start comparing yourself to, you know. You're going to see other people's opinions. We're bombarded with other people's perception constantly. So I think it's just important to reground ourselves and, t and allow ourselves the space to step away from the external and centre it back on our soul like really tuning into our soul because at the end of the day all of this corruption and all of this horrible stuff that happens when you think about how disconnected those beings or people or whatever are from their soul it's like next level do they even have one do you know what I mean because they're causing so much pain and so much suffering just for some power and stuff so like when you think about how disconnected they are, the way to counteract that is for us to go even further into our connection to our soul, even further into our hearts, you know, and our soul's truth and our mission and authenticity and all of these things is like, we need to just reconnect to that shit because honestly, when you look at them, I kind of feel sorry for them. Like, what a hell type of life to live. Do you know what I mean? To be that disconnected, that unhappy, that lost, you know, the level of emptiness that they must feel is next level. <laughs> so we need to just reconnect to our hearts, especially when you start overthinking and stuff and you're like focusing on what you lack and focusing on where things are going wrong and all of the bad things that are happening. Being able to stop that and be like yes that's true yes that's happening yes that's real yes that's valid but let me just focus on my soul for one minute you know let me just look at this because this is also real this is also true let me just focus on this for one minute and just be with that and how that feels for a minute and then I can go back to this negative stuff if I want to but let me just spend a minute here and just really connect with that and feel that you know and you can do that in visualisation or whatever works best for you because there's no right or wrong way. I like to visualise a specific being and that's how I view my soul. But you might view it in a completely different way and it does not matter. There is no right or wrong answer but just being able to feel good. Do what feels good. Do what feels connected to you. Do what feels aligned. And the more that you practice that, the easier it will become and the less you'll doubt it because you'll start to trust yourself, you know. 
So I really hope this video was helpful. Thank you so, so much for listening on the podcast apps as well as watching on YouTube. I really appreciate you. Definitely check out the description box below for everything about me. I'm wearing some crystal jewelry today, which is for sale on my Etsy store and on elementalmirror.com. So all of that is in the description box below, as well as links to my music, my social media, my phone number, because I do send daily spiritual, inspirational messages and videos every day. And yeah, I will see you in the next episode. Bye.